Why, hello everybody. Today I'm back with FNAF L1. Why am I so tall? Please let me down. Ah. Hello, Foxy. Hello, Chica. Hello, Cupcake. Hello, Freddy. Hello, Bonnie. What the heck is that walking? I always wonder what who's walking around. Man. So, um, you're still here, buddy. Showtime yet? <laughs> Prize counter. So you guys know that there's a tape up there. And I was thinking, I really want to get it. So let's try to get it. I guess I just have to hit it with a basketball. You're gonna be so annoying. I got it. Oh. But it fell. Oh, that doesn't matter. Return. Now, what did that do? Do I need a... It got rid of spring trap. <gasps> mm. Oh. <sighs> this is what we're getting the tapes for. You're still here? Hello? Can you hear me? Hi. Don't exit this room, okay? This isn't a mistake. This room isn't a mistake. I had to hide these logs away from the core gameplay files in a place that only a beta tester would look and in a place where the files could be protected. I just really, really hope that the next development team finds this before the game is released to the public. This game has some kind of malicious code in it that we haven't been able to fully contain or even understand for that matter. We're over budget and out of time. But that's not the reason that we're shutting down. Listen, I have to keep this short so the file size will be small enough to fly under the radar. There are more. They may not be in order. I saw it for the first time today. There was a character, I couldn't make out who it was, standing at the end of the hall. I thought it was just bugged out, so I made a note of it and kept playing. But then it was looking in the window, and not like Chica or Bonnie would. It was like it was actually looking in the window, seeing what I was doing. Okay. I think I know who the malicious code is. I heard a pretty heated conversation this morning between Dale, our manager, and someone else on the line. It really feels like this project is in trouble, in no small part because of the lawsuit, I'm sure. There has to be a lawsuit, there's no way there isn't. It happened in this building just a few doors down from me. I think it's made worse by the fact that Jeremy tried to tell us something was wrong. But as a dev team, we all just saw it as a challenge to find what the problem was and fix it. Who could have known that? I have to go. Have you ever heard of a guillotine paper slicer? It sounds made up, but it's an actual piece of office equipment. I didn't even know we had one in the supply room. I guess the more common at businesses that do a lot of graphic design work. I remember seeing one when I was still in school, and even then, I knew how dangerous it looked. I was always afraid of losing a finger. That seems so silly now. Jeremy used to do design work. I guess that's how he knew it was there. The drawers have been emptied out. Someone was here. I don't think it was spring cleaning either. No. There was plastic on the floor. Someone was definitely here during the night. It had to have been the client. I mean, they sent us that stuff in the first place with no explanation told us to scan it, said it would expedite the process so we wouldn't need to program any pathfinding ourselves. It was a budget thing, I guess. It was just junk. Circuit boards and things like that. Looked pretty old. Somehow, though, there was usable code on some of it. It seemed to take hold by itself. Things started changing. But then, uh -oh. he started appearing. 
At least that's what Jeremy said. I think I know who he is. It's the guy. Right there. That I think every time I grab a tape, I'm building on him. Because before he had no color. But now look at him. All colored up. And he's still waving at me. Oh, what the? <laughs> Let's check back on Freddy, because I think that he might have a tape somewhere. Let's see. Does Freddy have a tape? Welcome back to Parts and Service. It looks like one of our guests left a personal item on our star attraction. Let's return it to the lost and found. Because didn't we find Carefully, grab and remove the giant hat from Freddy's mouth. For good to- ah! Yay. Maybe now the tape appeared. <laughs> yeah, we tried. Welcome back to Parts and Service. It looks like one of our guests left a personal item on our star attraction. Let's return it to the lost and found. Well, I guess Freddy doesn't have a tape then. Freddy's got good job. Now place the hat. While we're at it, let's make sure there isn't anything else stuck inside. To access Freddy, well done. Freddy's chest cavity is now open. Remove the child's watch and place it in the lost and found bed. Good job. It appears there is a child's shoe wedged behind Freddy's music box. The music box must be removed before you can access the child's shoe. Gently grasp the music box and extract it from Freddy's chest cavity before the safety latch descends. Okay. Now he's just like maniacally standing. Okay, how about let's try night three with Freggy. so quickly. Woo! I could have died. Hey, Foxy. is coming for your butt cheeks. Oh gosh. Duh! Oh, 
though. I'm screwed. Wait. No, I'm not. I'm not screwed. It's still possible. Extra large. That looked pretty tiny, but yeah. Mm -mm. If you if you guys could see me right now, I'm dancing. Yay! Let's trap one away. Wait, that probably means that he's in here. Totally. Yeah, accidental digital infestations. Copy cop. Whatever that means. Wait, I wonder if I... Oh, I can't reach it. There's a wall, darn it. Well then. Why don't we try... Yeah. yeah, cause I said that I was gonna do like nightly invent repair. I don't know. I forgot. No, I said that I was gonna do dark rooms invent repair. Whoa, this is very claustrophobic. Welcome to vent repair. Fazbear Entertainment prides itself on having the most comfortable facilities. Each facility is set to a perfect 72 degrees all the time. The four active indicator lights mean we have a well-functioning ventilation system. Your headlamp should protect you from any critters who may have stumbled into the ducts. As a certified vent technician, you should need no instruction. Yes. However, in case of an emergency, it is important to remember that as the vent technician, you should never, under any circumstances, attempt to- Oh, okay. So that's how we're gonna do it now. Now what do I do? I hear you. You're loud. Do I look in here? Coin. What? I don't know what to do. Hey! Screw off! Do I have to look down in there? Here, let me just recenter. 
Oh, I'm supposed to. So, I don't get what to do. Huh. Is there... Oh, come on! Ah. Ah. No, don't do that! That's not allowed. Oh, wait. Lever? Anywhere? <laughs> Red? <laughs> what the flip? Red? Blue, green. Orange. Orange, blue, green, red. Get me out of here. Woo! Oh my god, Mangle. A perfect 72 <laughs> degrees. Good job. See you next yeah. time. Can't wait for hard mode. <laughs> Eat! No oh, chips. Crunchy. It seems that you may have inadvertently accessed an unauthorized portion of the game. Please be aware that interacting with unofficial game code can be harmful to you and potentially Shoot. damaging to our reputation. Yeah. Tape room. <laughs> to the tape room. Tape six. Oh, gold trap's gone. I came in early that morning. No one else was there. At least, that's what I thought. The supply room was lit. I didn't even notice Jeremy standing in the testing room as I walked past. The supply room was so bright, glowing from all the way down the hall. Oh no! Why you gotta do that? <laughs> it's standing straight up again. Play DLC? Not yet. First, I gotta finish this game. Oh, I said that I would do um dark rooms. I would do plush trap in the vent repair. Okay, let's retry this. I have a feeling I should stop around 40 seconds. Yep, you move. Crap, he ran away. Oh! Yes! <laughs> In your face. <laughs> Literally, I'm blinding you with my flashlight. In your face. <laughs> Mixed nuts. Yum. Crunchy. I'm not doing that. No, no, no. Yeah. 
so, uh, night four. Ooh. Fun. Hold on. Let me replay the title because I feel like there might be a tape in there. You know? So that there's a reason for the title. Oh, no. Welcome to the Freddy Fazbear Virtual Experience. Man. Fazbear Entertainment is excited yeah, to join the digital so age. Waiting. And what better way to do that than with an edge of your seat virtual reality experience? We know Wait. that Fazbear okay, Entertainment has developed something of a bad reputation over the last few decades. Yeah. And while it's true that some stories associated with our name were loosely based on actual events, the majority of them were total fabrications from the mind of a complete lunatic. Lawsuits pending. But we aren't above laughing at ourselves. Ha ha ha. That's why we have recreated many of these completely fictitious scenarios, lies, that you've been fed over the last several years into a hilarious VR game in the hopes that we can finally move past these childish ghost stories and develop a new relationship with you as well as your kids. Don't forget the merch perfect for birthdays. So sit back there it is. and enjoy a There's few a scares. We do, however, ask that you agree to a simple waiver before you you acknowledge yeah, yeah. that Fazbear Entertainment is not responsible for accidental digital consciousness transference, real world manifestations of digital characters, nightmares, night terrors, night sweat. <laughs> yes. We got it. Oh, oh, we got it. We got it. Why did you get so close all of a sudden? He was all the way at the edge of the door. Bro! Like, scoop back! You don't need to- See? He's getting his colors! They're becoming more and more noticeable. I'm like building on him or something. I'm making him stronger. Do I want to do that? Oh, he's not here. <gasps> yes, tape seven. Jeremy complained of nightmares when he came in this morning. He wasn't talking about it like someone telling a friend about his dreams, though. He was pale. Looked like he hadn't eaten in days. He spent an hour talking in Dale's office, but it didn't look like he was given much sympathy. When he came out, he went directly back to the testing room. He doesn't even jump anymore. Nothing scares him. He just stands there like he's talking to someone. Sometimes he rocks from side to side. We were told to leave him alone. I knew I was in line to do the testing next. They'd been prepping me for it. I guess they knew that Jeremy would need to be replaced soon. Oh no, Jeremy. Was Spring, um, Glitch Trap supposed to be there when I was in the room? Great, now you're standing up. Okay, maybe you're not shorter in person. Now you lo you're looking scarier by the second, sir. <laughs> Why are you standing up, glitch trap? Just wave. You don't look very happy. Yeah, shikes, man. Oh. Well, I think that this video is pretty long. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. Glitch trap is going to manifest, is probably going to manifest in real life while I'm sleeping tonight. So, um, yeah. <laughs> Hopefully you guys enjoyed, and bye-bye. For now, at least.